In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Google device policy. When you get that darn alert once a year where you have to install a new certificate to allow your mobile device, your Apple iPhone or a tablet to access your, your domain specific email for your business. Well, it all begins here in Google admin. And where you want to go for that is you want to go here to the admin area, not into here and manage your account. It'll take you to a totally different area. Once in here, you're going to want to go into devices. Once in this devices area, you're, if you're used to, it used to be here in the setup. Now they've created a new area for iOS specific settings where you go to. Let's go in there. Once in here at the top, you click this Apple certificates area, manage certificates. It's showing the one that I have because I just renewed it in the last 30 minutes. Now, I'd never renew it. I always set up a new one. So when you do that, you um, click this get CSR file and download it. Once you download it, you're going to have this push notification certificate. Okay, that's what it co what's called. Then step two, you go here and go over to the Apple push certificates portal, which will take you into your area where you have all of your certificates portal, um, your Apple based uh, certificates. And this gets gets access with your Apple ID. So your email and password that you log in for your Apple ID, use it to get in here. It might show you a password that you have to approve it on another device, but it's here. You'll see here here as um, expired okay and what you got to do is you got to revoke it okay and then it shuts it off into a revoked one and then you walk through this step of create a certificate once you go here you got to create a new push certificate don't worry about filling this notes out just um, just go here <clears throat> and choose the file. Choose the file that Apple gave you, this push notification, um, uh, CSR, see, dot CSR, certificate signing request. <laughs> I don't know why they don't call it that, push certificate. It might help you to piece things together a bit. You upload that. Once it's uploaded, you are good. And they'll show you an active one. What you do here now is you go to this download button, you click download. This download will give you this um, PEM file. Okay. And then you got that. Now you go back over to your admin area here, you know, the set it up, you go to the second one, enter your Apple ID here, then upload that certificate that you got from Apple. This one here, this PEM file. Once you do that, you will have this. It'll say your certificate is up to date. Boom. You're rocking. Now you got to go, you got to go over to your devices now. And with the, um, you have to go with your Google. You got to install the, the apps, um, and that it's it's really important that you install them. It's not the authenticator; it's the it's the Google Device Management Manager. Okay, that's an app that you have to install on both your iPad and your your iPhone, and then that will connect when you log in with your email, your Google uh, domain email. It will then give you a certificate okay that you then have to go into your settings on both um your apple devices it'll, it'll show that profile has been downloaded but don't do that yet the first main thing that you have to do and i'm just telling you i'm walking you through this and if you need another video you guys just let me know below and i'll make it but you need to go into the general settings of your ipad and your iphone and delete the mobile device management one Delete the old one because if you do that, you, it's going to keep failing with uploading and installing the new profile that you got from the Google device manager. You have to delete the old one. Once you do that, then go to the top of the settings where it says profile downloaded and download and install. It'll walk you through um, installing and it'll say success. New certificate loaded on um, at your one device. You got to do each of them like this. Once that's done. It's still not complete. You can't log in to your Gmail in your email um, um, app yet. You still have to go over to device management because it'll kick out a, you need to verify it. You'll get an email on your computer and you'll have to go over to a device approvals right down here and go in there and then verify. Now I have a lot of um, business email set up in there, but essentially you go over to the far right. There's three dots like this. You down, you drop down and say verify the device because it'll show pending, and then verify your your iPhone, verify your iPad after you go through the process in each of the devices. Then you're set. Then you go to your app, your Gmail app, and then um, and, you know log in with your email and password, and it will accept it and load all the past emails. Okay. If you have any questions, leave them in the um, comments below and um, I'll see about making another video where it shows the actual walkthrough on the devices of part two. Thank you very much and I hope this is helpful for you.